this is where my life began to change. Um, he ended up um, getting really, really sick and just, you know, ended, once he got a little better, uh, he moved to Virginia Beach, you know, it was kind of over with our relationship. What happened is that my children are now um, going through this process. My daughter just had a fight on Monday in school and this young lady, her friend, she shared with her friend that her dad has AIDS and her friend ended up putting it on Facebook. So with her, she's angry at her dad um, and she's going through like this rage. So um, they both ended up being detained um, and now she she's kind of dealing with it. She's like, you know, Ma, why did you stay with Daddy so long? Why are we affected by his decisions? And I said, you know, no one on this earth is perfect um, and we will make it through this process. I actually facilitate a group called Sisters. Sisters of Sisters informing sisters about HIV and AIDS. Um, I have so much compassion for the African American woman that I educate because I'm coming from a real place with them. I would like them to take away um, knowing who they are protecting themselves, whether it be with condoms, I don't care what your sexuality is. Use dental dams, finger cocks. Because we don't want to, um, we don't want anybody to, it, this one thing about the effects of a disease, it not just affect you, it affect everybody that's attached to you. And it's a domino effect. So with that, I want them to be able, across the country, wherever, protect yourself. It's important.